So, are you too sexy for Cairo? I'm gonna tell you if you're too sexy or you're not. Um, Cairo is a conservative country and many, many, many women, I don't even know what the percentage is, but probably about 85% of the women are at least covered with a scarf, head scarf, okay? That's called hijab. Then we have full covered with uh, black, and then we have covered with the face, okay? So, what do you wear when you come to Cairo? I'll tell you, um, it's taken me a long time to learn about all of the things that you need to know to wear, to dress properly, actually, in Cairo. So, I, I am wearing an outfit right now. Now, um, this is kind of okay, but it's not, and I'll tell you why. Okay, so can you see what I'm wearing? And I'll turn around, excuse the body pack on my back. Okay. So, this is okay in a sense, but not. Why? Because the shirt is form-fitting, okay? And if I was gonna use this shirt, I'd, can you show them here? I would want to pull this down below my crotch. Sorry to say, but you know, that's a sexy area. And so you want, and you'd also generally like to pull the shirt down from behind. But what happens when you do that is that with a tight fitting shirt, it becomes um, very close to your body and you know, everything shows. So I would want generally a bigger shirt than this. If I'm going out, this is a really good shirt to go out in. Like, um, it's also a very bright color. And bright colors attract. They attract uh, bees, they attract <laughs> everything. So of course, you know, you maybe would want a color like this in gray. I mean, a shirt like this in gray or something like that. The shoes, I have wedges on. Wedges are cute, they're sexy. They're not to be running around in the street in. Most people, most women in Cairo are not dressed up with heels and, uh, you know, tall shoes. So, you know, that says something about you as a person. And it makes you walk different too. So, you know, when you wear heels, you walk like that. That's why women wear heels. So I would prefer to have low shoes, and something, if I'm gonna wear this shirt, cause it's close fitting, I would have a scarf. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so I just changed and I'm gonna show you a better option. So I have a scarf here. It's a lightweight scarf. It's really hot in Cairo. <laughs> so you wrap this and I change my shoes. So take a look at my shoes. So you got it? So that's conservative. <laughs> if I wanted to, I can wear um, also like a little shift. It has like long sleeves and it's open and billowy. And um, you can buy those at Karina. So this is one option. Um, I prefer not to go out in the street like this, but it's really hot in Cairo. So I'm gonna show you some other um, clothes that I have that are actually work really well for Cairo and you don't feel like, oh, it's too hot for me. Uh, this neckline is fine. If it was here, not fine. <laughs> okay, even if you have sleeves, and even if you have long sleeves and you have your neckline just peeking towards your bosom, no, don't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you um, another outfit that's not fine and then I'm gonna show you how to make it fine. So I have another outfit on. I'm pretty conservative, or you would think, right? Um, I've got a long shirt and it's covering my butt as I told you it should. It's not too tight around here, so it's not showing all my body, but I have heels on, okay? Um, to us Westerners, this isn't sexy. This is like casual and uh, there's nothing sexy about it, but in Egypt, it's too sexy. Why? 
because all of uh, my chest is showing here and um, the sleeves are short, okay? I had three quarter sleeves on before here and sleeves here are fine also, but showing your shoulders and exposing the chest a lot is not um, as good as it should be. So how do I fix this outfit? I'll show you. Okay, so I would fix this. Um, normally, I even though this is like, to me, this is like casual. So normally, if I'm gonna wear this out, I would want to put something over my shoulders again, a scarf or something like that, because I'm wearing heels. And what I do usually is I take these scarves and I sew them from here to here, okay? So I have an opening for my neck and this is free for my arms. And I just put this over my neck. And it's super lightweight. And now I'm fully covered. So I have my heels on still. Yes, it maybe looks like I'm going out, but I'm fully covered and maybe less people will bother me. But they're still seeing the heels. So, you know, it's kind of iffy because they know you're going out, you're, they know you're going to have a good time. And uh, I have to say that this is for people that take taxis and walk in the street. If you have a car in Cairo, you can dress however you want. Nobody cares. So this is something that I would typically wear normally every day. Um, I have a lot of these shirts. They have like a little skirt and, uh, and I wear low shoes. I don't wear high shoes. And um, this is pretty conservative, even though my neck is still showing here and my arms are still showing, it's okay. This is, this is actually a really fine outfit in Cairo. If you wanna put a little scarf on, you can put a scarf on. And um, I'm wearing makeup, a lot of makeup right now because I'm on camera. But um, I would never wear this lipstick outside. It's bright, bright pink, unless I'm going to um, get into a taxi, as I said, and go directly to a place. Don't wear bright pink lipstick. Don't wear bright red lipstick. Um, people don't dress like that in the daytime here. So yesterday I was talking to my friend Doa who works with me and she's 26 years old and she told me that um, her male friends, she's asked them all, um, what attracts you more to women? And the first thing they said was the hair. So hair is an important thing here. So if you have really long hair, you're gonna, people are gonna be attracted to you. It's just the way it is. Um, she said the next thing they look at if they're covered is their boobs and their butt. <laughs> so, um, you know, if even if you're covered and you're wearing uh, what they typically do, uh, the women that are covered, is they'll wear these long sleeve um, shirts that go under their overshirt. So it'll be long sleeve and it's tight. And then they wear a small shirt over that and they'll wear jeans, but everything's pretty tight fitting. And if it's tight fitting, you're gonna get harassed, you know? Um, if you wear those big shifts like I did, they're probably gonna harass you less because um, they're not gonna be able to see your body. Okay, so I have another outfit on. I don't, I know plenty of women said, this is not sexy. It's totally casual, long sleeve, uh, not low cut. Okay, um, I have uh, short pants on and flat shoes. This is normal in America, in Europe, in many, many, many Western countries. This is like, ah, uh, I look boring. This is sexy in Cairo, <laughs> okay? Uh, why is it sexy? Because uh, my shoulders are kind of exposed, okay? And um, even though the clothes aren't tight, I'm showing my legs. Legs are sexy in Cairo. Why? Because they never get seen. So I have another dress on, totally conservative from where I come from. I'm from uh, Los Angeles, California, and it's a super, super, super conservative dress. It's a long dress to the floor. And um, 
As a matter of fact, if I'm walking, you can see like, you know, little jiggle jiggle. <laughs> Too sexy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I could cover with this and make it um, totally covered now, right? Now you have a totally covered dress. But I still, unless you're like super skinny and you don't have nothing shaking, <laughs> um, still you're gonna have this problem here. So the better option would be to do that one scarf, that gray scarf that I had, or to do the long scarf again, okay? And wrap it and let it cover your backside until you get to your intended destination. What do you think about this? Check it out. I'm fully covered, right? And you would say, but Alia, I'm totally covered. Alia, what's wrong with this? The first thing that's wrong with this is that it's totally form-fitting to your body. Um, if you wanted to dress like this and all this was really loose clothing, that would be great. You wear a long shirt, it's really loose, like maybe a linen outfit, and you wear linen pants, great. Even if you had short sleeves and it was all linen, perfect. You're totally covered, nothing showing. Even if you put a scarf on like this, and you're covering your neck, they see the whole outline of your body. So um, I wouldn't wear this in the street. I know people that have, okay? Um, what I would do is I would wear a scarf, as I said. Okay? So, then it's, it's still kind of cute. You can still see that you got leggings on and a little colorful shirt, but um, it's less discoverable, okay? Okay, so this is like a shift that I have from Karina. And basically what you can do is you can buy these and it covers everything and you can wear it with a belt or I make little string here and I just flip this through, okay? And it's an instant cover up, it covers everything. And um, I find, for me personally, I prefer just to wear the long sleeve with like the little skirt, shirt type thing or look, even men's t-shirts. I love wearing men's t-shirts. I buy the v-neck ones, they're really big. I usually get them in size large and um, I wear those like constantly. Um, I also wear a lot of uh, gym clothes. So if I was gonna wear gym clothes, I wouldn't wear a, a tight shirt. I would wear the maybe a men's shirt and some sneakers and don't get harassed. So um, these are all just little tips. This is my personal point of view. Um, don't start writing me and saying, hey, you're wrong and that's BS. <laughs> this is my, my personal experience. So I hope you found that useful information and um, hope to see you in Cairo. Um, it's not as bad as people say it is. You just have to take care and you have to be um, vigilant about what you wear. I know uh, as a Western woman, a lot of people like to come here and they like to be cute and pretty. And yes, there's a lot of very handsome Egyptian guys and you want to be pretty. But uh, just to, um, you know, understand that this is a Muslim conservative country. So you need to dress, you know, it, as, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So uh, see you next time. Bye.